and I am a junior. Be poet! Be poet! Be poet! Oh, oh, oh. Aunt Debbie stares and quivers. No one bothers her. Her pills are starting to work. Breakfast lays down in her gut. She even says thank you when I lift her limbs into the bathtub. She kisses her cross again. Wears the same flower dress from the first day she stayed with us. I think it is her cackled cry that wakes me, or the clank of her cross that tugs me to the kitchen. I can still see her rock. Her face wrinkles with the desperation of questioning children. Why can't I make her stop shaking? She still sways in her chair like dust. She mumbles, your dog peed in the kitchen. The squirrels are eating it. She is stuck, jellied in the midst of schizophrenia, hung in the middle. God's lights dim. We can all see her sweat glisten. It whimpers while it slides down her skin. The squirrels eat it. She says the squirrels rule our house. Feast on us. She can hear them chew. They resemble the doctors gnawing at her toes and veins picking at her. The doctors have empty graves in their waiting rooms, let you sit in them, get used to the way the curves crush it back from arching. It's too gray to be heaven here. Our world is too muffled and foggy. I can see her fingers tangle over the splintered edges of her cross, support her trembling fingers. Why won't she trust the family that cradles her body? Why can't I make her stop shaking? There's a squirrel lapping the pee of a dog in my kitchen, she says. The floor is seeping with it. It rots against her toes. It, we can't say there isn't urine caressing her soles or he isn't whispering in her ear. We all want to trust that aunts can sit still, rock to God's assurance on our necks. I let her trust squirrels and mules and staffs and dandelions and crosses. I empty the room can't stand there and witness a collapsing Debbie turn away so I won't contradict her own sight. We all want to trust that our floors don't sway. <laughs>